See his little face when he was saying alone, his little lips. I might have to play one more really quick. I'm sorry. I have to make a cocktail really quick. So I just got home like two hot seconds ago. I'm not muted, right? Okay. Hey, 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 guess what? I went live and I'm not muted for fucking once. For once. All right. I'm going to load up really quick. We should listen to one more. Okay. There's one more. The Kiffness. Dude, I'm fucking, I love this guy. He takes all mittens and he does mitten songs. He's fucking best. I don't know. I have, I have never watched him before prior to that. What's up, Pat? What's up, chair bugs? Should I play a chair bug song? Hold on. I think I got to. Um, oh, 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 hold on. How long is it? Can I go make a drink? Is it long enough for a drink? Hold on. I got yelled at once that um, when I was live streaming because I used to crush White Claws. I mean, I do, but somebody sent me a message. I think they, like, I don't know, posted it in a comment. And they're like, it is real. It's fucking repulsive when you fucking burp. And I'm like, dude, I'm so sorry. Like, I normally don't fucking burp. But, um, yeah, sorry. Sorry. All right, chair bugs really quick. What's up, freaking Kristen? All right, I hope we're just going to keep it very small and low-key tonight, okay? I'm going to hang out with homeboy. I'm going to keep it low key because I'm way behind on all the things. And I don't even care. I don't, you guys are all fucking crazy. You know how nuts it is, Kristen? You know how nuts it is? That I had two separate worlds. I, I had Girl World and I had Cobraverse. Like they were separate. Not no more. No. No. Not no more. They all fucking crap together. I, I can't even, dude, I can't even go on like social media and I fucking people. Oh my God. 
like girl world broads that don't understand or get it just like fucking tagging me or asking me dumb shit about fucking Josh and shit. And I fucking hate it. I hate it. I hate, I want Josh happy, but I fucking hate it, dude. Makes me fucking nuts. What's up? What's up? <laughs> I was just bitching Josh about uh girl world. Do you know what girl world is? Wait, hold on. What are you drinking? What is that? Moonshine. Oh, Smokey. Did you pick that out? Or did somebody send it? it? Dude, nobody sends me fucking alcohol in the mail, dude. What the fuck? Yes, I'm of Girl World. Jessica's mentioned them. Yeah. It's, all right. So you tell me, what do you think Girl World is? Or what do you know what Girl World is? It's a bunch of stuck up little concert. All they do is troll people on the internet. The fucking miserable, fucking like ugly ass, overweight, fat fucking cows <laughs> can't get dick. And there you fuck. There you go. Fart, so it just comes out as drama. <laughs> Pretty much the best answer anybody could ever say. What girl world is? <laughs> well, I bully Jessica all the time, and I'm fucking sick of it. Jessica Messica is the worst. Dude. Jessica Messica is the worst. <laughs> Well, she is, uh, she, yeah, she's kind of girl worldy. I think she kind of like, she covered uh, Jessica na naked and laughing before even y'all hung out. Like she used to just, I don't know, stream her or something like that. <laughs> Why don't you like Jessica Messica? Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm not watching this. Hold on, Solo Leo. Boom. <laughs> oh, look at you. It's your fancy. <laughs> uh. What do you got there? A fucking sun kissed with the fucking old smoky? Mm hmm Oh yeah, dude. Where do you even find sun kissed mango? I never see that at the store, dude. It's delicious. All right, do a sip together, right? Mm hmm mm. Oh, I've got a vodka tonic. Mm. <sighs> Dank drink combo, Cobes. That's what's and up. And glasses too. What is it? What do, what do you want to call it? What are you calling it? Smoky Mango. <laughs> Good call. Good call. It's not a girly martini, dude. Did you see that fucking pour, dude? That was a good fucking pour. It was no joke. All right. I'm going to make a drink with you. Josh, I haven't talked to you in forever. All right. So, okay. Let's get serious for one second. Are you happy? Are you happy? I'm content. Yeah. Well, that's good. I want you to be fucking I'm content. I'm in my apartment, but I've got a new place. So I'm not going to say when I'm moving out. Or no, when. I know. Listen, you know, I told you that, like, you know, myself and everybody probably in side chat witnessed the last time you had to move, dude. And it totally was fine. You know, like, dude, it fucking is what it is, man. You know? I mean, I don't know the reasonings why or, or uh, what they thought was appropriate to say. Um, and I don't know, like, terms of your lease or shit like that. But, you know. So, what do you think it is? You think it's trolls? Yeah, the trolls have been bullying the conquistadors nonstop for, like, the last five fucking six years. And the new owners had enough of it. They just, we got some new owners. Yeah. And my YouTube trolls are leaving a bunch of bullshit reviews on the Google reviews. Yeah. And the new owners were not aware of the whole situation. They were mortified. Okay. And they were doing like, the trolls were doing false neighbor complaints too on top of it. Okay. Well, so, all right, maybe that's why what you just said there. Because remember the prior owners before... Guys were like sending a bunch of Google reviews and like, dude, they were way cool. They were just like, you know, that person doesn't live here, I'm whatever you're saying. Now. How long is it like, how long has it been since there's been a new owner? I'm not sure to be honest, but I don't have any problems with anyone up here at the Conquistadors. It's a lovely apartment complex. Oh. And I'm going to miss living up here. So do you think because, like, recently, dude, that you've blown the fuck up on the internet that that's why, like, more people are calling and making reviews and shit? No idea, to be honest. Josh, you're going to get a fucking plaque, dude. A silver plaque. 
you're gonna hit a fucking hundred thousand fucking subscribers, dude. Like you're so all right. I'll, hold on, hold on. Let's see how close you are, dude. This is fucking nuts, Josh. I remember we celebrated fifteen thousand subscribers. This is crazy. This is insane. Like such a short period of time, dude. Oh my god, it's so crazy. All right, let's see where we're at. Ha, huh? you, dude, you're so close. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is fucking nuts, dude. Look at Josh. It's so many people. It's so many people. It's 98.8. I don't know what that is. 98, 98,800 people are subscribed to your fucking channel, dude. Josh. That's crazy, dude. Think about how many people that is, dude. Think about that. And and what's crazier is that, like, like we're talking about like eviction and all that shit, dude. Like a lot of people were around for the last time, dude. You were live. Remember the last time when your dad called when you left the old apartment, which I it's like fucking like a Jerusalem shit that I, someday I'm gonna visit. But you had maybe what was back then like forty thousand subscribers, maybe like close to fifty, maybe. Uh -huh. Josh, you've doubled since then, dude. <laughs> you've doubled. Courtney Knight, um, ask him if he and Nal are engaged. We are not. We are not. He just bought her a fucking moon rock, which is a dank-ass fucking ring, dude. It's beautiful. That's fire opal, yes. Yeah, it's fucking beautiful. I love rocket dogs. Dogs, mo money. I love rocket dogs. I got a fucking really cute pair. I'm going to go make a drink. You want me to come back with my pair on? I'm going to come back with my pair. Josh, you almost had 100,000 subscribers. Yes, I am. Fucking nuts. Josh, it's fucking crazy to me. It's crazy. It's crazy. I came late on the scene, and you had, like, uh, I remember celebrating 15,000 subscribers for you. And I was late as fuck. Like, I missed, um, like, I missed Stephanie, like, that whole era of you online and shit like that. This is crazy, dude. This is nuts. What do you think? Um, do you think it's uh, actually no? It's not. I mean, maybe you've probably jumped up. Hold on, let's see if I can look at Social Blade for a second. I want to see what fucking catapulted this shit. Josh, you're gonna get a fucking silver plaque, dude. And and also, dude, monetization, like getting that back, dude. Remember on Valentine's Day when you lost it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was shortly after that because you put the green panties on. I think I gave you a super chat and you did like a wiggle. <laughs> I'll drop your penis. <laughs> well, you know, I think it was completely PG, but YouTube did not think it was PG. But it was something after that. I think that was the second strike. Didn't you say like you had a, you were talking about trans or something after that and that's where they fucking got you. So what did you do? Did you just reapply? Chick who was accusing everyone of being homophobic when I called they them out on their bullshit. Agreed. So you should be allowed and open to discuss shit like that, dude. Yeah, no, I agree. All right, let's look at your fucking story. There was no disrespect towards Milo or they them or whoever. It was just saying, hey, you know what? We're not all transphobic, dude. Yeah, for sure. I don't even think that stream was very, like, and you can't be like non-binary and trans because if you're trans, you're the opposite gender. If you're non-binary, you don't have a fucking gender. So explain to me how that works. Yeah, you were you were talking about like uh, why is there a toilet on the screen? Um, you were just again talking about hot button shit. So you probably had fucking fucking some douchebags that were either mass reporting you or something like that. All right, let's look. Let's look. All right, ninety-eight point eight thousand. Let me look over here. Subscribers. Social Blade subscriber rank. Look at that spike right there. What is that? Whoa, something happened right there. Hold on. What the fuck happened? Right? I don't know how to work this thing. Can I click it down here? Whoa, Josh, look at them chunks of subs, dude. Holy fuck. You got, oh my God, you average 819 subscribers a week, dude. Josh, that's fucking crazy. I don't think I've ever had 819 people fucking subscribe to me ever. Like, that's nuts. Look at that shit, Josh. That's fucking awesome. I don't know how to work this business. All right, monthly. Whoa! All right. Oh, this is nuts. I can, hold on. Get my fucking readers. I'm going to read over here. All right. So 
in March, dude. Oh my fucking god! Look at the sub, sub rates that went up. Holy shit! This is crazy, dude. So March was like twenty thousand fucking views, thirty two thousand views. Oh my god! I don't I don't know where you lost. Oh, you probably privated something. Something says that you lost sixty five thousand views. Did you? Are you privating videos? Have you privated something recently? Not recently, no. no. No live streams or whatever? No private shit? That's fucking nuts, dude. So you're fully monetized, right? So you're back to getting money on views and super chats, right? Mm-hmm. Josh, see, I told you it was going to come back, dude. I told you. Hold on. Pat says... uh, Cinnamon Toast Ken has been covering Cobes. Shut the fuck up, dude. Do you know who that is, Josh? No idea who he is. He's like a dude. He just like, he'll like watch like memes and shit online and like funny shit. It's him and his buddy. He's got like, yeah, like Pat said, almost 5 million subscribers, dude. It's fucking insane, Josh. This is crazy. This is crazy. <laughs> I'm super excited about it. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go on my my laptop. My I love my new glasses too. By the way, they are looking sharp, and I'm. Let so me see. Fun. You got new glasses? Hold on. Oh no! Sh When'd you get them? Here in town. I said when though, like recent. Just today, as a matter of fact. All right. Let's go. Um, we're, let's make a fucking cocktail. They turn okay. into sunglasses too. <laughs> They're uh. Transition. Yes. That, yeah. So I'm gonna engrave my glasses. <laughs> All right, hold on. I'm gonna kick myself here and add myself over here. All right, ready? One, two, three. Josh. Wait, no, wait. One, two, three. One, two, three. Whoa. <laughs> Hold on. It's but I definitely got a place. I'm not saying how big it is or when I'm moving out or where I'm moving to. But it will be here in town. That's all I'm saying. Is it closer to downtown, dude? I want you to be closer to downtown again. Not really, no. I miss that, dude. I miss you going out in, like, the fucking wild and shit. So, all right, what's the date that you're going there? I don't have to discuss that. Yeah, don't. I know. Shut up, Courtney. You're the worst. So, um, are you going? Did um, you're gonna you're just going to go rent though, right? You're not buying anything. Tell me to show. Well, I, I got something bought. Yes, yeah, just waiting patiently. That's all I'm gonna say on that. Okay. No more talking about it. No more. <laughs> That's the fucking greatest thing ever, dude. It's so great. I know I kept showing you fucking shit that so there's some like there's some real fucking good homeboys dude that that ass we're going online and trying to find you places and shit Casper real estate ain't so fucking pricey dude it's not so bad Josh oh my god this is so exciting I will be able to smoke in my new place dude, but only in my YouTube room yeah because it's your place dude that's why it's your place that's fucking awesome dude Josh, I'm so happy. I'm going to go outside. We're going to smoke butts really quick. Listen, man, dude, I was going to fucking make you move to North Carolina and come hang out with me. You should learn their lesson eventually. Like, every time they've gotten me kicked out of places, I've gotten into bigger and bigger spaces. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. As much as I was bummed, like, dude, when you lost the last place, dude, you've upgraded to a good place, though, you know? Yeah, it was it wasn't bad. Oh god. See, you're already making one before I am. Come on. All right, you gonna do a fucking drink comp burp. No oh, smoky mango. Oh, oh smoky white line then. Oh, oh smoky. Some smoke kiss. All right, I don't think I can do that as good as you. <laughs> I didn't try to. Shit, so like, look at me for it. 
<laughs> All right, I'll try to do it. Drinking a it. martini while he's still just sucking my weenie because they're nothing but meanies. I'll try to do it. You were like way up there though. Oh, oh, ah, I got carbonation though. Oh, not so bad. My glass is not as fancy as yours though. I definitely spilled it though. Yeah, it's much bloody fancy. <laughs> martini glasses. I got a pair of them at the store when I was shopping with Jessica. <laughs> Josh, I love moon rocks, dude. I saw the ring that you got her. Super pretty. Do you it's pick it out yourself? It's not a moon rock. It's a fire opal. And yes, I got it off of Etsy. I thought it was a moon rock. It's super pretty. It's way pretty. That's That's a good chunk of money on it. You're like, what, a little bit over a hundred bucks. <laughs> it's a girlfriend ring, people. Calm down. Everybody thought you were going well, to get married, dude. Jessica told me she's never had a man buy her jewelry before. So you bought her a ring because of that? No, because I wanted to make her feel pretty and special. You're a good boy. Very sweet. Do you guys? So you guys get along good, dude? To you have point, yes. Mm -hmm. How did you first meet Jessica? the internet did you meet her because um like did somebody tell you about her no she reached out and texted me because uh someone was fucking with my phone and she helped me fix it that's awesome so how long how long were you guys talking before you she uh decided to go out there and, like visit you now you in a month was it cool? Like, uh, you guys were talking, like, FaceTiming, engaging and shit. Remember Gothy? Uh, I know, but that that went a little crazy, right? Gothy got a little nuts. I, I like Gothy still. I still like Gothy. I got a little fucking nuts, dude. I never watched, um, I wasn't around for, like, uh, Stephanie and shit like that. So I, I have never engaged with you when you've had another woman. Is she okay with you having female friends <laughs> like me? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure she's fine with it as long as I don't cheat on her. She lives close to me. She's in uh, Virginia. So, yeah, she's super close to me. What if me and Nal go and hang out? That'd be cool. She loves to drink and smoke pots. You two get along just fine. <laughs> oh, what, you know me? <laughs> just fine. I can see you and Jessica being besties. Hell yeah, dude. I got a branch in fucking Virginia Beach, dude. I go there all the time. Hold on. I'm sorry. Let me, let's read somebody. I'm sorry, guys. I've been ignoring the chat because I haven't talked to Josh. Yeah, go on, hang out with Josh's girlfriend. Let's go get drinks and smoke some bud. <laughs> all right. Piper Man, what did you say? Forget Gothy and Jessica. Courtney, who hurts at? Mm -hmm. I need to highlight that one. Uh, no, she isn't, Josh. She's going to be mad at you for this. No, she's fucking not. She's super cool with... Uh, Fangirl Kate and I are fucking peas and carrots, dude. And she's good with Fangirl Kate. And she's a close friend of yours, dude. So she's good well, with that. I'm not doing anything with you except doing a little live stream. Yeah. And I stream with her all the time. So it's not like that's on her channel to help her channel grow. Yep. Know. Yeah. She, well, I know she's lost a couple channels recently, but hopefully she'll get. She's not going to be mad at me after she's got that fucking ringy day, dude. Fuck off. <laughs> so did it, it showed up today yes it did the ring showed up early actually and it's exactly what i ordered Josh. i went to the Etsy store i bought it from a five stars Looks did she like picture did she know it was coming or was it a complete surprise yes, she did. i told her about it josh you're not supposed to ruin surprises i love surprises <laughs> josh this is a fucking Fire crazy. really pretty this is crazy. You know what? I don't. I think the universe does like weird shit, dude. And you met somebody on the internet because you're a fucking internet person. So yeah, dude. Who is she? Do you ever ever have intentions of her like living with you or moving with you? Not living with me at the moment, no. But she does want to move to Casper. Really? <laughs> she wants to get her own place and move to Casper so she can be closer. Jessica absolutely adores Casper, Wyoming. She's she does? Like, Good. She's like, it's a really pretty town. And I'm like, she sees what I see, you know. Yeah. Did you guys go out places and shit? 
Oh, fuck yeah, we did. Darf Lenny met her, right? What's that? Did Darf Lenny get to meet her? Briefly on the first visit, yes. That's awesome, dude. He's a fucking good dude. All right, let's look at what people are fucking saying here. How is she going to do that? Um, Josh, do, all right. I'm not sure how she's going to do that, but she's just going to have to figure it out. Does she, to- Um, th- what does she do? Does she like work or does she uh, have like hobbies or shit like that? She does reselling at the moment. She doesn't have a job. Reselling is an income though, for sure. I'm not sure. I know she'll figure it out if she wants it bad enough. Holly says, much love for Cobes. Good shit. That's Holly Big Mac. I appreciate it. What are you, are you going to do a celebration when you hit 100,000 subscribers, dude? I'll figure something out. Yeah, you better fucking do something for your fans, dude. Do something crazy. Are Maybe you still you making wands? Are you making wands? You make the KFC double down with like the way I made it for the your favorite son documentary. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I didn't get included, but that's all right. <laughs> I messed up on it anyways. I had too much goddamn sauce in the end. I should have waited for it to cool off with Dude. the sheet of the bacon before sandwiching. There's it. never too much sauce. I'm a fat girl. I love it was fucking fire, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so ha- has your sisters or uh your dad met jessica yet yeah. so, so my uh my sister tiana and my dad have met jessica briefly that's great dude me and my dad well my dad's awesome for one and two yes i have met i wish you, my family would live a long life and three yes they have talked that's awesome, dude. Is he, does are they uh Nick Nikki, you said it before I could even say it. Do they are they like do they vibe okay with her? They they like her? Well I think as long as I'm happy with her, then they're happy for me kind of thing. It's exactly know? how I am for sure, dude. hundred percent. All right, hold on. Dopin says, uh, can you ask Cobes if he's ever spoken to Crystal Station and Leslie? Do you know who that is? No, the fuck I don't, to be honest. They talk to him on a daily basis. So, Dopin, if Crystal says that she talks to him on a daily basis, it's probably not Josh, dude. If Josh doesn't know who the fuck she is. I know, then yes, I do know that Crystal, but I don't know Crystal Station. Okay. Well, there's fangirl Kate. See? Jessica's okay with fangirl Kate, dude, so she's not going to be fucking crazy about me talking to you. You're fucking, uh, you're a YouTube celebrity. You got a lot of fans. Oh, when I took Jessica out to sushi, they literally had this thing called plum sake, and it was so fucking smooth. It was like water. But I had chicks walking up to my table who were like, can I get a photo with you to make my other half jealous? And I'm like, yeah, that's fine. Somebody came up and asked you out in public to get a photo, like a fan? Yeah, so I had like three to four fans approach me when Jessica was here. I was and yeah, asked for a photo. When I went to a fucking Walmart, mind you, a fan pulled up in his super sports, hands me a bottle of Fireball, So can I get a picture with you, Cobra? I love your videos. And I'm like, that's cool, man. Yeah. So this dude talking to Jessica and I immediately hopped out of the car like, what the fuck's going on? And as soon as I found out it was a fan, I was like, okay, we're good. <laughs> did you think it was somebody fucking pulling up on Jessica? <laughs> yeah, I did. I don't know, like someone like creeping on her, like, you know what I'm saying? That's fucking awesome, dude. <laughs> My Tina Hero from Bonnie Taylor moment kicked in and I was just like, oh, do I got to fuck a motherfucker up? And I was like, okay, we're cool. That's fucking awesome, dude. <laughs> Molly Chad's need a hero has the sickest drums, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Where were you guys were at getting sushi when somebody came up to you? Yeah, that happened the second the second time it fucking happened, man. Like people at the restaurant are like, Are you King Cobra? And I'm like, Yeah, what's up? And like, Can I get a photo? Fuck yeah, dude. I always down to talk to my fans. Good, dude. Yeah. You're a fucking e-celeb, dude. You're an e-celeb. All right, I'm going to kick myself. I'm going to come back over here. Hold on. 
Black live Aussie motherfuckers. And I'm back. Hold on. You know I got this Cradle of Filth shirt I got at the Cradle of Filth concerts. Fucking epic. Made my fucking day, dude. It's like my last birthday prior to this one of this year. I got to see Cradle of Filth live. Let me see it. Pull, stand up so you can see it. Hell yeah, dude. Didn't a fucking thing stop showing your domper? Vampire cult. <laughs> Vampires are the shits. Dude, didn't a fan buy you a ticket to go there and you went there with a fan? Yes, a fan. It's awesome. Bought a ticket and we went there. Yeah. Hey, guess what? I'm a YouTuber too, Josh, and T-Pain played last night. Nobody bought me a fucking, fucking ticket. Off. You have to go to a fucking dispensary and get some top grade, you know. Nobody bought me a ticket to T-Pain. Fucking Josh Saunders getting free tickets to fuck Cradle Filth. It's awesome. Uh, the, the Cradle of Filth concert was absolutely fucking beautiful, too, man. <laughs> At an amazing time, and uh, fans were uh, approaching me and shit. And... At the show? Mm-hmm. Josh, that's fucking badass, dude. That's great. I feel like a, a celebrity amongst celebrities. You're a celebrity, dude. You're going to be a fucking 100,000 subscriber fucking goddamn YouTuber. Josh, that's crazy. Hold yeah. on. Let's see your face because you're trying to act like you're all modest. Oh, I'm sorry, Josh. Stop acting modest. Did you 100,000 subscriber YouTuber? <laughs> you're so fucking, eh, it's not a big deal. It's a fucking huge deal, dude. People make YouTube channels. They can barely break 100, you know? That's fucking nuts, dude. It's fucking nuts. I don't know what draws them into me, but yeah, there you go. Wait, hold on, Justin. That's because you have no fangirls court. You don't want peace, you can eat shit. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I, I have maybe like one, I think Mo Money. She's a big fan. She's a fangirl. She's nuts. Me and Mo Money are gonna hang out in uh in the fall together. So I'm gonna hang out with some fans. Totally not fans, she's my friend. <laughs> God damn it, peace. I'm fucking laughing emojis. <laughs> Courtney, please tell me. Hold on, I'm trying to click on messages here. Courtney, please tell me that you have an OnlyFans so I can stop here. Oh, let's have it. Another one. Is Lauren here? <laughs> you guys are terrible. <laughs> it's his wit and his charm for sure, George, dude. All right, you guys in side chat. How, I want you guys to post really quick. When did you guys start watching King Cobra? Were you gothic King Cobra, or when did you guys start watching Josh? Like, get, like, you can throw up a year or maybe an arc that you started watching him, for sure. Courtney, a fan of yours wants to say hi. Courtney! Courtney, what's up? <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> Your ceiling is oh, way cool. Yeah, yeah. No, shut up, bitch. Yeah, that's a quote from Cyrax, by the way. Fuck Cyrax. I hate that. <laughs> Cyrax can suck girl world's fucking nastiest, fattest, ugliest cunts. You gotta get a rumble. Alright, cheers. That's fucking amazing. In fact, Cyrex can suck off Samantha Hudson for all I care. I know. I remember that time, dude, that I was live and uh, you came on and Cyrax was on. And the first thing you said to me was, Courtney, why is Cyrax here? And I'm like, I don't even know. I'm sorry. We're talking to him. He's a fucking disgusting pedophile creep. Yeah, fuck that guy, right? Fuck that guy. Yeah, fuck him. Fuck like that guy. I hate sickos more than I love cobras and drinking, so fuck off with that. I know. I, 
Last time I went live, Josh, I had Cyrex on here. In a... I would shoot my dick off in front of Ozzy Osbourne to end sickos. That's how much I fucking hate it. I would shoot my tower dream house to fucking end sickos. <laughs> All right, look at Gia's comment. I have never seen Cobra so happy. Gia! I know. <laughs> You guys are fucking crazy. So, Josh, like, all during this, like, shit with Jessica and shit, I've gotten so many people that, like, tag me or message me, and they just say fucked up shit. And I'm like, dude, I just want Josh to be happy. That's all. That's all I care about. And I'm not a fucking, you know, like, dude, you can make your own choices in life and shit like that. You fucking dig this girl. You love this girl. You bought her a ring. Y'all need to fucking chill out, dude. Just, it is what it is, man. Like, that's it. Like and yeah, comments like you, oh, Micah, oh, mayhem. Her trolls and my trolls have all been trying to break us apart. I think and so. All I can do is just keep trying. Yeah, I think so, dude. I think so. <laughs> Cyrex died in the fourth. <laughs> Fat China. Cross <laughs> her off, Macy. Let's have a peek at your knickers and your minch. <laughs> Want to see my big band, you fucking wanker? <laughs> her name's Fat China. <laughs> Hey, all right, between me and you. All right, sorry, that would be fucking awesome. <laughs> Does Jessica have a nice china? You don't have to tell me because we're public and you should tell him, baby. Oh, let me, hold on. Hey, hold on. Let me do this really good. Hey, Josh. Does well, Jessica have a nice china? china? Otherwise, I wouldn't fuck her. <laughs> I a fire for a hundred plus dollars. Yeah, ready? Y'all heard that, dude. <laughs> Yeah, just a good, uh, going on my cock, man. She'll break about that shit for days. <laughs> Ninja Cult <Okay>. Cassette. <laughs> I love seeing you guys. There's so many people on fucking side chat that are accounts I've never seen before. Poop. I'm clicking on you. Would you end Ozzy to end sickos, dude? I would. And I love Ozzy Osbourne to death. I would take a bullet for that, man. I'm going to tell you that I think fucking Ozzy would probably respect that, dude. For sure. Uh, kids are more precious than rock and roll, to be honest. I've always said that. It's the truth. Yeah, for sure. Kids for are not sure. mature enough to handle sex. That's why. And the consequences of doing it without a condom. That's why it's gross to do it with them, you know. Did you see how hot Kelly Osbourne looks lately? Oh, Kelly Osbourne got that milk thing going. She's so hot. She's yeah, all I'm fucking pumped on Ozempic. I'm not try thing, but I'm here for it. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> She's all hopped up on Ozempic, fucking just looking all nice and shit. Yeah, dude. She looks fucking great. Uh, <laughs> well, Kelly and Amy are stunning, to be honest. In yeah, my for sure. I think Sharon's hot as shit, dude. I like old yeah, ladies. Sharon's got that gilf thing going, you know. <laughs> Grandma, I'd like to fuck. <laughs> I've heard you say it, Courtney, that you would do it too. A hundred percent. I told you that, dude. I like all day long, dude. I'd get in that gray bush. I don't give a fuck. Listen, old ladies, like we don't get gray bushes. Maybe we do when we're like eighty, dude. I'm forty, whatever. I'm, I don't have a gray bush doesn't happen like that maybe it does maybe it does i don't know could be now wants to move into cobe's house i'm sorry guys that like shot out of the fucking chat i couldn't click on it i thought she fucking said that she literally said she wants to get her own place mm -mm. jessica's flipping out about uh the fuck about this stream right now no she's not you stop it right now no, she's fucking not has she ever come on a panel with some like with you She's she's welcome to come up here, Josh, if she wants to. Yeah, send her the link on the Facebook. I, I don't want her to get mad at me. She won't get mad. It's totally fine, right? I don't know how to find her. How, does she have a Discord's or? No, not I, 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 of. I would really like, like. I'd like to meet her. Um, it, yeah. I'm scared to meet her. Where? What's? Is That's she on the Facebook? She on the Facebooks? Put it in private chat, Josh. Can you put in private chat her link or something? Or just send her the link. Oh my god, I'm super scared. I don't want her to get mad at me. I'm, I'm super scared about her. Jessica's a little spitfire. Look out. 
Oh. I know she is. I don't want her to come on here and want to fight. I'm not that far from her. Maybe she can show up here later. Want to fight me? <clears throat> oh, oh, what's up, Harry Bootle? Don't be scared. I so am, dude. I'm like super scared. Yeah. Oh God, Vee. Whatever, dude. She's just not gonna be fucking mad about me hanging out with a friend on YouTube, especially after I just go to that fucking fire opal ring. Pork me or get your so boy. Open everybody off with. She's not fucking mad. You guys are freaking me out. You guys get me all hyped up reading that fucking goddamn side chat. My trolls are so fucking stupid. I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna look. So, like, dude, oh my god. So I remember when she was coming over, dude, and you and I were fucking talking. It was crazy, Josh. It was crazy that she was coming to your house and you were all excited. And remember you did the fucking bond tactical bathe down. So, all right, hold on. Okay, you don't don't tell me anything that or whatever. Everybody that you shouldn't tell me, but all right. So what happened? She knocks on your door. I love the smell of my soap. <laughs> so you knock. She does. She knock on the door, or were you waiting outside? She knocked. She might have knocked on the door. She might have just called me and said she was outside my apartment. And you went out there. Yeah. Did you guys hug? Yeah, I gave her the biggest hug the first time I seen her. She just sat there like, you do smell good. How did you feel? Was it exciting? It's definitely interesting because I haven't had a girlfriend in like the last six years. So oh. it's taking me a minute to adjust to it. Okay. Were you nervous? Not really, no. I had my tactical sub and I kept my cool. <laughs> okay, so what did you do? All right, so she. My apartment's clean. I got tactical soap. My fridge is stock of goodies and her favorite Red Bull. I think we're good. That's so awesome. All right, so she, does she. So you got all the fucking sheets before she came over and the bedding and all that. You know? Of course. You need to fucking do that, dude. Get your fucking goddamn fucking snots off the fucking sheets for sure. So, all right, does she. So she comes inside. Do you guys have a drink or. Smell or... just up. Like, I don't want to get into like juicy details. I know, I know, I know. I just love you. Yeah, we hung out on the food time for a bit. Oh my god. All right. On a um on a scale of like one to thirty minutes, how soon was your dick in her? <laughs> naughty shit woman. <laughs> I'm gonna go with like 11 minutes or so. I don't, off, I don't know. I would be, especially if y'all were talking before that and you were like pumping up that fucking vibe and shit. Like I've been on fucking Tinder, dude. I know how it is when you talk to people and like get all amped up and shit. Oh my god! So cool. I'm gonna discuss how how long it took me to get. I know. Don't tell me. I don't know. <laughs> Gentlemen never kisses themselves. I know. Did you know when you met her though that like it felt right, right? Like it felt it's good. Or it takes me to be honest. Oh my god. She's old enough. She likes to drink. We both like snakes. We both like to smoke pot. Her favorite <laughs> color is green. Our favorite color is green too. She's a, we're a trifecta. Good chat, dude. So it's, she used to work at Wendy's and she was going to a six year sexual dry spell before she met me as well. So that's kind of a trip. Okay, so your mom used to make me like I do. If you <laughs> that's awesome, dude. So listen, I have not because you're my boy. I have not watched any of Jessica's live streams. I've avoided any of the like uh, edit channels and shit like that. So the other day, I came home. It was like two or three days ago. I came home from work and I went to the back bedroom, and homeboy was it watches her relentlessly, and she was listening to the Grateful Dead. And I was so stoked. Fuck you, Josh, if you want to shit on fucking hippie bands and shit like that. But she was listening to Shakedown Street, and I was so psyched. I'm like, I like the Grateful Dead, yeah. Oh, I shit on hippie bands. I fucking listen to the Beatles and Black Sabbath, for fuck's sake. I loved it. And the, the only other time I clicked on Jessica and I saw her live, she was listening to fucking Bjork, dude. I fucking love Bjork, dude. I feel oh, like you two will get along just. I feel like we'll be fast friends, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like we'll be so much friends. 
<laughs> That's fucking great. So yeah, you have to either have her come up here so I can introduce myself or we'll do it behind the scenes. I want to meet her at some point. I'm like literally a couple hours from her, dude. I Facebooked her the link to the stream yards. If she doesn't want to join, she doesn't have to. Like. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. 100%. But I would fucking love to meet her. I would love to meet her. That's fucking Bjork doesn't suck donkey farts. <laughs> You know who sucks donkey farts? My fucking YouTube girl. You guys are the worst. Wendy's Tex T mixologist. That's fucking glorious. That is fucking cheeky. See, that's a fun little picture of me, too. That's the obsession with Cobra right there. All right. Heaven says uh, people were oh, lying to Jessica. My, thing my trolls is Jessica. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Why were they making her mad? What is her channel? Is she in side chat? She's not in side chat. Yeah, I'm aware of that. That people are going to lie to Jessica to make her mad. And she takes it way too seriously. And I'm working with her on that. That's not a bad thing. Because I used to be just like Jessica in that respect. I get way too fucking like. And I'm like, it's people on the fucking internet who gives a shit what their opinion is. Yeah. That's just the attitude you gotta have anymore. So, Josh, that's what you. I mean, obviously, you've been doing this for a long time, but you have to like let her understand that exactly what you just said. That they have to. She has to discount what people say on here, dude. If I listened and read everything people said about me, dude, I'd be fucking eating a gun in the other room. Like it's bad. I don't even go on the King Cobra subreddit to be honest, because my trolls are more obsessed with me than I am with Ozzy Osbourne, and it's not healthy. What do you think they did when you fucking goddamn broke the dry spell, dude? They probably lost their mind. They probably did. They were like, I felt a disturbance in the force. King <laughs> Cobra <laughs> with his green lightsaber. I hate saying that, but I was so excited about it. I was like, I cannot wait for Cobes' fucking trolls to hear that. I, it, man. I have like friends who fucking message me and go, Cobra, I'm going to a dry spell too. How do you fucking deal with it? I'm like, it's a mental thing. You just got to say it's not a need. It's a want, and I don't need it to be happy. And yep. uh, If you can still jack yourself off, then <laughs> that's fine. Have a wank and get over it. Well, you think about like if you have so all right, so now that you have a girlfriend, you have an active oh, sex no, life. Like soda pop. It's hard to like shut it off now, right? Like you had a period of time where you are able to forget about it. But now that you have a girlfriend, like then you tend to like want it more now. You like you're way into it more. Now. No, I don't want it more necessarily. I'm happy with the amount that I'm getting. It's probably nuts. If there anything, the six year dry spell made me appreciate getting it from Jessica. That's the thing. For is. sure, dude. For sure. What's up, Granny? Because a lot of chicks want to fuck me, but they're afraid because of my trolls and because I have my character flaws like anyone else. Do you think now that, like, you have a girlfriend that these fucking these people are going to come out of the woodwork and be like, you know, other fangirls are going to be like, I'm going to be like her? Maybe. I'm sorry. Could you bloody rephrase that question again? I didn't. I was grabbing another sun kiss. Have you noticed that like girls are have like uh, sparked an interest in you because of Jessica? That's what it feels like. I mean, like normally, like I do get fangirls that come out of the woodwork, but when I got chicks that see I'm literally on a date with Jessica, trying to enjoy mm -hmm. sushi with her and a friend. Because just a particular moment to come up and go, are you King Cobra? Can I get a photo? It's like, yeah, I don't mind taking a photo. Just don't be grabbing at my cross in front of my woman or anything, you know. Dude, it's big dick confidence, dude. That's exactly what happens. Big dick confidence. 100%. That's what it's all about. You know, even if you don't got the biggest dick in the room, you still act like you do without You got a fucking big dick confidence. It don't matter. Big you know what I mean? Don't think about it. That's exactly my point. I know what's up, dude. I'm a female. I understand what big dick confidence is, dude. And that's what I'm attracted to at times because of reasons I can't. I don't want to go 100. I want to fucking take my girl out for some nice sushi. And I dropped 165 fucking plus dollars on, on dinner that night, but it was so worth it. <laughs> the restaurant was so nice. 
The plum sake was uh, exquisite. Plum sake. Is it warm sake or cold? It was ice cold and it's sweeter than silk and it goes down like water. Oh. Where what, is it in Casper where you went for yes, sushi? It's a restaurant in Casper. I don't want to name which one because I don't, don't yeah. trolled. Did, did I ever show this? Hold on, hold on. Let me see if you can see it. Oh, hold on. Can you see up there? Hold on, hold on, Josh. Look at look at. Did you ever oh, hold on? This is crazy, Josh. Look at do one of your fucking yeah, fans. You got a menu from the uh silver fox. Silver fucking fox, dude. <laughs> Look at My that. dad makes the best prime rib. It's way better than silver foxes, but that's well, we're gonna go there someday. But I have a silver fox menu. Who's jealous? Yes, silver fox is delicious, though. I've had See that? food. It's They're pricey, crazy. but they are good. So good. The kind of restaurant you want to wear a tucked in shirt to, you know, with my with my dog collar, so I look all like dapper. <laughs> yeah, so I can't go on there with like a fucking. Um, the kind of restaurant you can't just burp out loud and, and people like ignore it. You know, they look at you like, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> grasping at their pearls. Like, oh, I'm sorry, that was a good drink and good food, and that's you know. <laughs> That's what life. I can't go in there with like a Motorhead T-shirt on and Converse. <laughs> Be questionable. Sure, like that. <laughs> I want to meet Jessica. So, do you think I'll mention her to you? And like, you know, she's here. She's in my uh, friends friends list. You should like send her a link. Oh my god. Like, yeah, I don't want her to hate you, know, me, dude. Quickly explain that you're a Bjork fan as well and you just want to get to know Jessica and you know yeah. have fun with her. I don't she doesn't really to have that many me. really that many friends in life and she could use more so that would be really stupid. Uh, that's I was gonna say like obviously you know does she have like a good close circle of friends or no, from what she told me Jessica doesn't really have any friends. That's why she goes on the internet because she's seeking companionship of beyond just a boyfriend and yeah. her parents. You know, I, I get that. Yeah. Kristen says, Have you seen clips? So Kristen, I have completely avoided all things of Josh and shit right now. And you guys can fucking judge me of being a weirdo about it, but I hate, like, I don't want to watch from afar, like, shit that's going on, especially, like, edit channels and shit like that. I want to hear it from Josh. Oh, fuck the edit channels. It can all suck. A yeah, bad you watch them, dude. Go farts. Yeah, I don't watch them. Go fart fuckers. Yeah, <laughs> I don't watch them, dude. I want, with Queen Cobra's in the chat right now. Where is she in the chat? Is it the real know. Queen Cobra is it some impersonator? I don't. I can't I love to do that crap. They will impersonate my friends and my family and fans when I'm doing videos. And all right, where's things. where's Granny Knight? She can moderate her if she's real. Is she real? I don't want to. I don't want to moderate somebody that's fake though. It doesn't matter. I moderate everybody. It don't matter. <laughs> Is she watching and chat? Is she sleeping right now, Josh? Or is she? I have no idea what the fuck she's doing. I'm not her babysitter, you know. <laughs> What's up, low battery? Because I do care about her. If I didn't fucking care, I wouldn't send her. You know what's so crazy, to me, Josh? Right now, I can read side chat right now, and there's so many fucking girl world people in side chat. Like the crossover is insane, Josh. I, like, I got her some Taco Bell Cantina chicken items earlier. A regular. You bought her dinner. Yeah, I buy her dinner when I can afford it. That way she don't got to cook and her and her family are fed. Josh, you just send her like Uber Eats or food? The DoorDash or whatever. And I let her know what I'm doing so she knows it's for me. You're a fucking good boy, dude. You're Why a good you boy. Sending her stupid shit to DoorDash like they do to me, you know. And I'm like, that's kind of fucking ridiculous. You're such a good boy, dude. Listen, Aaron, you missed it. We were just talking about that earlier, dude. Yeah, a hundred percent, dude. Hundred percent. I'm gonna kick myself. I'm gonna come back so I can go get him, make a drink. We're gonna personally Josh's friend Aaron on Courtney's stream. This will be a delight. Hey. Oh, 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 hold on. It's so bad. I'm sorry. Everybody locked ears. Rails on a crazy <laughs> four hours, but that's Josh. Yeah, everybody. 
If you know anybody that wants to subscribe, you should po post Josh's link everywhere because he's going to get 100K, dude. It's so crazy to me, Josh. That's so much. Hold on. I'm, I'm loving my new glasses. Muted. They're so fucking cool and they're easy to see out of. <laughs> All right. We're good. Laser sharp focus. I've had a fucking eye doctor appointment since I got out of eye surgery, mind you. So I've had the fucking same pair since then. I was due for a new one. I remember when you got the last. Remember when you got the um, the last glasses? Yes, I still have them as backups. If worse mm -hmm. comes worse. When did you get those ones though? Recently. These these ones I got them today. I had them ordered when I did my eye appointment a couple of weeks or a week ago, whatever. Uh, Micah says Jessica Mesca is now's music is Marty. Does Jessica Mesca troll her, dude? Yes, Jessica Mesica trolls the fuck out of Jessica, my girlfriend, and it's disgusting. Shame on you. Hold on. We got a call. Mute it. Mute it. Mute it. Mute. I'll mute you right here. Hold on. You guys are the worst, Jessica. Don't fucking troll him. I'm going to go pee. I'm so scared to meet Mal. Hold on. I'm going to go pee over here. Go to the other bathroom because that one's fucking dicey. It's a weird angle. I'm super me I'm super scared to meet her, dude. That's why I've avoided all of this shit. Because you guys are fucking monsters, man. Alright. I'm totally I'm not going pee. I'm not going pee. Shut up. Nope. Jessica's gonna have to pass on joining on the stream. There's too many negative comments about her on it. And people just talking shit. But she, she should. Mad. Yeah, she should. Sorry, I gotta pee, Josh. So I'm gonna fucking do this. I just hope she's okay. I don't want her to be salty about you being on a panel. Does she care about you being on panels and shit? She didn't say that. She just said, read my message. And she says, I care not to join Courtney's stream because of all the comments and all the negativity. Because social media is, it is yeah. toxic to a point. People yeah, for sure. Crazy. Deal with it, and then people learn to just not be so negative on, on social media. Like, what does it serve? You know what I'm saying? Like, you're literally having a crap day, so you take it out on some random stranger on the internet because you're pissed off at the world. Yeah, that's what people fucking do, dude. You're not having a bad day, you know what I'm saying? That's what they fucking do, dude. Josh, what happened with some footage about a cat? I don't know anything about it, but I guarantee you it's all overly projected bullshit. I know Jessica loves her cats, and I think people are just going to, like, take whatever they see and, like, try to, like, oversell it. You know, like, oh, did you see what Jessica did? And it's like, shut up. Yeah, well, d does any did anybody clip it, or are they trying to fucking project that did something that didn't happen that way? Yeah, they clipped it, and they're, like, trying to over overly project it kind of thing, yeah. All right. Well, Jessica Mesica, I will. You can post that link. Jessica Mesica is a fucking fat cunt and needs to leave. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have a filter for that. I'm so sorry. Jessica Mesica is a fat cunt and needs to fucking leave. Jessica, I'm super fat too. It's okay. Jess, don't be so fresh. We're all fat girls. <laughs> oh, that was savage, Josh. <laughs> Super savage, dude. No, I'm that was savage. My girlfriend, like, she's not. Does she say mean things about her though? Does, or is she just is she just covering her, or does she say mean things about her? Like Jessica Messica is literally fucking obsessed with my girlfriend, and it's ridiculous. Yeah, well, it's, she's watched her prior to you, too. Yeah. It is not healthy, dude. <laughs> That's one thing I like about dating my girlfriend is she totally gets trolling and how people are fucking assholes. Most yeah. women wouldn't know how to put up with it because most women haven't experienced it. But because Jessica likes to fucking scream, you know. So have you talked to Jessica Mesca ever? Have you interacted with her? No, I haven't, and no, she's not a fucking sicko. Fuck sickos. It's fucking. 
Maybe it's the fake Jessica Messica. Might be real. I don't know. So, oh, God, this cat thing. You got me all fired up about it. I don't know what that is. All right, I'm going to make a drink. We're going to smoke cigarettes. Some problems, but that's because she's been, like, mentally abused her entire life. By who? Like, her family or parents? Like, people can only take so much before their mind starts doing things. Have you, like, Jessica, does, like, does she have a good relationship with her family and her parents and stuff? I would hope she has an amazing relationship with her parents. Uh, you know, I don't want to speak on that because it's none of my business. Yeah, 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 for sure. Well, I hope I hope she didn't want to come on here, Josh, because she thinks that this is like a fucking bullying community. Jessica, if you're watching this right now, I don't block people in chat, and that's maybe on me, but I don't let anybody on panel that's going to be a fucking douchebag. So, Jessica, if you're watching this, Courtney's a Bjork fan like you are. You two get yeah, along so for great. sure, dude. <laughs> for sure. If you bloody see Courtney's like blue cat, it looks just like the one you miss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't want to think that we're fucking the assholes. Cat is just like mystery, too. I'm like, it's a pretty breed of. Feeling. Yeah, I, I just don't want her to think that fucking dude. I just don't block people in my chat. So people like listen. Oh, Jessica, I, I have to block people in my chat. I don't want to, but like when people get like a nasty and just mean with it, it's like, well, okay, I don't need to spam and nasty bullshit. You can get blocked. You can fuck my fucking ass, autistic cock, lick my ass burgers. Do you? So does Jessica Mesca wants to come on here? Do you want to talk to this girl? Not really, because I don't want to deal with the other half getting mad about it. Yeah. I'm not going to talk to her arch enemy about it, dude. That's between those two. So, I don't want to get involved. How is her... Um, about women, to be honest with you, is never get involved with women fighting with each other. <laughs> All you can do is defend your woman, and that's it. If women are being catty towards each other, you just let them... Ash it out without it getting violent, hopefully. So Ozzy says, though, that Jessica Messica has said a lot of nice things about you. Because listen, yeah, yes. I'll tell you something right now, Josh. I'll fight fucking Jessica Messica in the fucking streets if she shits on you on the fucking internet. She might be shitting on Jessica. I don't know her. But if Jessica Messica shits on you about that, she don't fucking know you. And that's a fucking problem. I'm from Connecticut, baby. I'm fucking from her hometown. <laughs> I'm from there. I don't think she's shitting on you, dude. I had to keep like, we'll cut you if you fuck with us. I'll fucking lay a traffic for this, dude. Trust and believe. You heard of the Shotgun Connecticut Company? No. They make the slings that I have on my double barrel. <clears throat> I think the internet would love to see two fat girls tussling in the fucking streets. <laughs> Jessica, me and you. <laughs> oh, I want we'll fucking gas. <sighs> we'll just breathe heavy, Jessica. Listen, we'll just breathe heavy. It'll just be like me and you just tussling in the fucking street together. I'll like, <sighs> I'm like, Jessica, I just got to take a break. I need to get a Newport. <sighs> me and you fighting. Just kidding. I would never fight Jessica. Messick. Get the fuck out of here, dude. I want some Mohegan Sun. I'm there like all the time, dude. Me and Jessica are going to hang out. I got scareds though. I don't want to hang out. I don't know. I got scareds. I got scareds. Maybe next time I'll hang out. I'll go there next month. Me and Jessica Mesca. We'll make some dank content together. It sounds like every sentence is an effort for Josh to speak. Jessica's molding. I don't want <laughs> Jessica Mesca on here. I don't need that shit right now. That was yeah. kind of like behind the scenes. Well, do you think that she would be fucking mean to you? Or do you think that she would like try to like talk to you about uh, your girlfriend? You know Both. I mean? Like if you want to talk to her on... Uh, when I'm not on camera with you, that's your choice. But, like, I'd rather not have her on panel with me right now. Yeah. Cobra Angel RU says, Courtney, did you hear the audio of their last fight? That is some messed up shit. There's audio of your last fight? Because one of my fucking fans called me and Jessica answered my phone and she was drunk. That's pretty much how that went. Okay. And I asked her, why the fuck are you answering my phone? I don't go through your phone without permission. Like, I'm trying to be a solid boyfriend to her. Okay. And she's so used to, like, being abused and treated like shit. 
that like, and that's the thing of it, I've come to realize is that the people you date create your dating behavior patterns to a point. And that's nothing against Jessica, but any stretch of the imagination. But like when you're used to being treated like shit on a dating scene, you're going to act a certain way because like mentally you feel like you don't deserve it. When okay. physically it's happening and you know, so I get it to a point. You're a good guy, Josh. You're very patient and understanding. Yeah, you're a good guy. I try I just, to be a good person and be very patient. Okay, but I just want her to be a good girl to you. Like, she's good to you? Like, she's good? I'm not complaining. Like, okay, so I got kicked out of my apartment. That wasn't her fault. That was my troll's fault. Falls. Okay, why was it your troll's fault? Because they called and they were... In the apartment complex I've lived at for the last six years, non fucking stop, leaving shitty reviews on Google Review. Okay, but they've been doing that for a long time, right? Sending been... pictures of my dick and my butthole to the apartment's Facebook page and just all kinds of whatever they can do to fucking just fuck shit up because they're miserable. They live in their mom's basements and they're fucking miserable. Okay, but, like, they've been doing that for a long time, too. You know what I mean? Like, it's been okay for a long time. Well, Jessica says it just came to a head is what it is. You Jessica know? said that he's in a legitimate danger, legally, physically, mentally, with her and his life. Well, his that's life. your opinion, you know? I don't tell you who to fucking date. I no, I appreciate you fucking standing up for her, dude. A lot in common, fucking let it be by the Beatles. Yeah, no, I appreciate you standing up for her, but I'm just saying that this is somebody that's watched her for a while that is forming an opinion. And again, the internet, Josh, people will form opinions upon people from afar. That's what I'm saying, Courtney. Hmm? Is I don't know, just well, but they do it to me all the time, dude. The doubt and be like, you know what? If me, if me dating her like somehow makes her life a little bit better, then who am I to That's complain? Peace says oh, that it was partially her fault, though. How was it her fault, Peace? She's so cute, though. Look at Peace's picture. A little cutie baby. So cute. Well, like, I wasn't in a rush to meet Jessica in person, but when it happened, I was like, okay, that's fine. Let's hang out and see where it goes. Heretic says that it was because she was screaming like a banshee. Was she yelling in your apartment, dude? She flooded the washing yeah, room? she was yelling and stomping, but I don't want to get into that. It's don't talk about it, then. Don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. Well, again, dude, like, Josh, you're a fucking grown-ass man, and you have every right to form your own fucking shit, and it doesn't need to be me. I've had people, Josh, that messaged me on Facebook telling me that I need to save Josh. I need to save Josh. You need to get involved and save Josh. I'm like, dude, I don't even know who this girl is. I come on here and fucking save Josh. I have no idea. I have no clue who she is, dude. Save remember the remember uh Chaz, dude? Th that's like it's like Chaz times a thousand where people are like, This is a bad person. She can't talk to him. He's she's a bad influence, dude. It, uh, you're growing up. I'm going to own fucking opinions about Jessica based off of what everyone else has fucking said. And that's what's so toxic about the internet. Is you don't want to get to know the person, you know what I'm saying? Cranny, have it have her send it. Can she send it to you? Or Jessica, do you do you not have me on Discord or something? I think you have like I think I give you my phone number too, because I'm the worst. I give everybody on the internet my phone Love number. <laughs> They're doing hashtag save Josh. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys are fucking nuts. Jessica threatened Josh with a machete. Did she threaten you with a machete? No, she did not. She was threatening someone else. Oh my god. You guys like to fuck with her nonstop. Like they like to fuck with me and you know. Yeah. That's why I can't believe what I read on the internet. That's why I haven't watched any of these edit channels about you, dude. Oh, my God. Josh, I just want you to be fucking happy, dude. If you're happy and content, 
I don't want you settling, though. Well, that's the thing of it. I don't expect to have a supermodel, you know. I see what I look like. I look like I literally look like if Ozzy Osbourne had butt sex with bubbles from Trailer Park. Stop it! And the baby that came out had autism and fetal alcohol. Stop it right now! <laughs> Stop it! You're laughing because I know how to take the piss out of myself. <laughs> Stop it. Jessica's a fucking, she's a, she's a nice looking girl. She's older. Like me, I'm an old lady. She's got a nice body. Well, not you know what I'm saying? Jessica's always going off about how ugly she is. And I'm like, honey, I've seen worse looking women. You're not. So Jessica, if you're listening to this right now, just trust and believe when you were on your way to Josh's house, he was telling me how hot you were. So, okay. That that hundred percent was telling me how hot you were. Like, men are funny about showing their emotions, but, like, no, just... Okay. Gia says that Cobra's very handsome. Look at... Look at Gia. She got big old plump lips. Josh, you seem to be fucking handsome. If I, if I didn't find Jessica attractive, I wouldn't buy her things. And fuck, <laughs> fuck her brains out. And cuddle her. <laughs> All right. So, without you saying things to me that you don't want to say, though... Like when y'all first hung out, were you guys just like gross, just fucking like humping like animals the whole time? Probably, because I would too. Just fucking like a fuck fest. I wouldn't just say that, no. 100%, dude. I know you were <laughs> being all gross. We got out of our system like the first time, and then like it was just cuddling and getting to know each other and like showing her all the cartoon websites that I watch my cartoons on. Okay, so Jessica, if you ever listen to this and you hear this right now, the first thing Josh said that he was going to do to you was cuddle the shit out of you. How fucking sweet is that? He said that to me, that you were he was going to cuddle the fuck out of you when he first met you. Awesome. It's super great. She does not treat Josh like a king. Um, ask Josh what he thinks about Nal's cam videos. Does she have any cam vids? Yeah, Jessica used to be a cam model, like a chatterbait type model. And honestly, I don't care. People are sending me pictures of all the dicks that she sucked before. Oh, my God. And I'm sitting there like, well, she has mine now, so <laughs> what does it matter? And, like, all the ones she sucked in the past are not as good as what I got. <laughs> mine's, not like, mine's not, like, super ginormous, but it's big enough to get the job done, and I'm proud of what I got. Yeah, it's going to be fucking cock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna come over on the other side. Hold on, I'm coming on the other side. Hold on. I did it. I did it. All right. <laughs> I did it without fucking feedback. Josh, do you understand though? Like, you, at least you're respectful to the fact that, like, this is a big deal for your community. Like, a huge deal. Enormous. A big deal. That, like, you have a new chapter in your life, dude. You have a girlfriend. You have somebody that's, like... Everything in my life is a saga, and it gets so irritating at a, at a point. I, well, again... Everything it's, that comes with it is so worth it. I know, but it's your choice to be on the internet, and you have to understand that people are invested. Yeah, it's my choice to be on the, on the internet, but it's not my choice to be harassed because... I'm 100%. Like, I cannot agree with that more, Josh. The fact that... Because you're online, people make the excuse and say that, oh, well, you know what? It comes with the territory. No, it should not. The yeah. internet and our interactions online are the way that it is now. All right, go ahead. Good. Okay. You guys are fucking monsters. Don't be fresh. Josh said, oh, my God. I'm going to all caps you again. Please turn on slow mode for us. Oh, okay. I don't know how to do that, but. Because that little baby girl, Hannibella, who's the cute... Look at her picture. She's so cute. Look at her. So cute. This is me kissing Hannibella. Oh, she's so cute. She's the cutest thing ever, dude. Love her. Jessica Muska, I would totally have you come on here, dude, but it's my boy. I can't fucking let people up here and it's going to be all fucking fresh. I don't think you're going to be fresh either. I fucking interact with you, dude. It's totally fine. All right. Slow. Moat. Slow. Moat. I'm trying to look, dude. 
Hold on, I'm going to sh screen share. Tell me where to go. Okay. Window. Where do I go? Over here. Settings, right? No? Is this all bad? Am I, am I in the bad? Oh, I think I know where to go. Hold on. Be here. Be here. Some boomer shit right now, dude. Huh? No, you're all, you're all done, Courtney. What's happening? Hold on. I'm gonna figure it out, dude. I'm totally gonna figure it out. Do over here. Hold on. Hey, you. Don't be afraid. Take a sad song and make it better. Remember to let it into your heart. And you can start to make it, make it better. better. <laughs> the first time that she really dug me. Don't let me down. That's my fucking favorite Beatles song is the Don't Let Me Down song. <laughs> like, you see the music video, all the fur coats and the vintage, like, 60s, 70s guitars, and it's like, oh, that's the decade. <laughs> Don't let me down. <laughs> I'm in love for the first time. Don't you know it's gonna last? Here comes the sun, do 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 Okay. It's all right. That's what I'm fucking saying. Autistic Pelican, do you want to see something really quick? Hold on. I like Rob Zombies. That was the last game spot. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Rob Zombie's the shit. I will agree to that.
I'm so sorry. <laughs> no worries, missus. I unplugged everything. Hold on. I unplugged it all. Hold on. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's repeating, too. Oh, okay. Oh. okay. All right, we're so good. So I got super excited when somebody talked about Rob Zombie. So I wanted to show you. Look at, I met Rob Zombie. Look at, can you see it? Dragula! <laughs> I met him at his triple club. He's badass. That crazy? I met him at his fucking strip club, dude. My girlfriend was like obsessed with him. Wait, hold on. All right, we're waiting for everything to do that. Look at the cat right there next to Courtney. It's just like the one you lost. Look at this Lynn. Like mystery. He looks just like the one that Jessica lost. Huge Bjork fan that Courtney is. I'm telling you, Jessica, you and Courtney you get along like peas in a pod. You both love cats. You both love Bjork. You both love to smoke weed and drink. The stream is bloody frozen. Right now, stop it. Okay, come on, Linda. She wants to see you. Okay. You're trying to quit tobacco? You looking for okay. a tasty alternative? No, I don't plan on quitting chew, but this outlaw dip. You see her? There's the shit. Lucky Lipper with Nick safe. Tastes just like Mountain Dew. The Jessica loves gray cats, Josh. Not a sponsor. What's that? <laughs> Jessica loves gray cats. Yeah, Jessica had a gray cat just like the one you have. Was Linda? She's not, and she misses that terribly. It's a good cat. Hey, remember that time that I unplugged everything? <laughs> I got excited. So I was trying to guys show you guys this. Hold on. Hold on. Let's come over here. We're waiting for my other computer to fucking boot up. You guys see the fucking Joshua Faye Saunders shrine right there? Hold on. <laughs> All right. I'm going to zoom in over here. I'll put Rob Zombie back. We got every fucking Josh it album. Fits and shoes just like the real thing. Chalk mug dip, but I'm showing you some that stuff. Was to your door. Oh, what's this? Gates of fucking hell. <laughs> Look at this comedy. Lamper, motherfucker. I got three albums. There are three wands, Josh. I got three wands. Yeah. Three I got the wands. That's fucking badass. The green one's my favorite because it reminds me of Zelda. I got a piece of your carpet in there. Look at there's your carpet. <laughs> whole apartment. Yeah, I sent it's that. It's looking great, dude. I got Satan's bell. Let me guess at the wand after a bit. Deathbed fucking tapes, dude. God, dude. Not a fucking fan girl or nothing. Yeah. I just unplugged all that shit though. I'm the worst. The dildo. <laughs> They're wands. They're not dildos. Maybe one's been inside me. You guys don't know that. Maybe I was live when it happened, but fuck out of here. You guys are the worst. Just joking. Will wants to say what's up. Jessica would be beating Josh if she's in a why do you guys keep saying that? Is she aggressive, Josh? No, she's not aggressive. Why do they keep saying that? I have no idea. Because when she was drunk, she was like pushing me and smacking me with the Did you get into a fight, like physical? This thing right here, the puff toy. No, we didn't get into a fight. We resolved it like mature adults. Okay. She's not aggressive. Okay. Like, what are you going to call, how, how are you going to define aggressive? Like, this versus, you know what I'm saying? 
Now, people, yeah. people don't know the whole story. They don't need to know the whole story. And people are <laughs> dicks about the whole situation. Yeah, that's what I'm saying is that people, like when you're on the internet, Josh, they don't, they can't, they interpret what they see because we only show them what they want to see. It's a fat cut, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. It's a bold faced lie. Josh likes that. Are you throwing a fucking lipper, dude? Let's see. Yes, I'm throwing a lipper from Outlaw Lucky Lipper. Tastes like Mountain Dew. I'm not going to quit tobacco by any sense of them words, but I'll buy a can from Outlaw when I can. And does Fat Cut Lucky Lipper, it dips. Does Jessica smoke butts? Does she smoke cigarettes? No, she doesn't, but when she gets drunk enough and she's in the mood, I watched her smoke a cigarette with me before. She did? Yeah, right. but she's not. She'll smoke closed cigarettes on occasion. She's not a uh, tobacco connoisseur. Which, that, that doesn't bother me in the slightest. All right, hold on. Jessica Messica. Hold on, I saw Jessica Messica. Courtney, check your most recent email. Okay. I'm going I'm on my stuff. So here's the thing, Josh. Okay, listen, listen to me. I don't, I don't know girl world people. I don't just know Jessica Muska. I, I do don't know, know these people are either. All I know is that my girlfriend don't like them, and that makes me go, I don't like them. You know? Okay, okay. That I agree with that. Like you trust her, you trust her opinions. I'm just saying that there's always like other sides to shit and stuff like that. And I don't ever, I never painted Jessica Messica. As somebody who just dumps fucking like lies on the internet and shit like that. And I feel like that she has like a, a bit of a gauge to be like, she's not like the normal girl world person. I know you said that they're all fat girls that are miserable and they say dumb shit. Totally agree with that. Totally agree with that. Jessica Muska is kind of not that person. It's not about fat shaming. It's just that, you know, you're miserable. It's your life. And you yeah. You're going right to pick on fat people. And then, like, fuck shaming fat people. And then, like, no. then on top of that, like, when 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 you and me come back with a response, that's the first thing they're going to go to because it's the ammo they use. For sure. No, I it's do not disagree. Same with thing with, like, it doesn't matter if you're fat, black, female, trans, whatever, if you're a shitty person. A pirate? You're just kidding. <laughs> if you want to make it about race, gender, and your weight and you're contributing to the problem. Yeah. Well, what I'm saying though, I, is that I don't think like her content and her channel is fueled by like emotion. Like some of these fucking fat girls that are on there that shit on that foodie beauty, they're just fucking, they're mad because they don't have fucking, I don't know, some Kuwaiti hot hunk, whatever. I'm just saying that that's how they kind of are. But I've never gotten the vibe from Jessica Muska that she's somebody that's fueled by like some sort of jealousy or anger about the others she's watching. <clears throat> and again, it's all subjective because she's only watching now from afar. Naked and Laughing, she's only watching it from afar. Naked and Laughing is only showing the internet what she wants to show them. So that could be a part of it too. Like 100% could be a part of it. And I get that. I don't want you, Josh, to take offense towards these ladies that are worried about you. They could be I'm ladies not that I appreciate that everyone cares about me. Yes, I'm saying like these are like ladies that have either watched you or recently came into the community and they're like, you know what? I don't fucking feel so good about this and whatever. So they had six. Yeah. That's the thing of it. They had six years to make their move. Jessica was the one that made the move. I know, but I'm saying it's not even like making room. Like maybe it's like Jessica Messica. I don't know. She just she's just looking out for you. I don't know. I don't I think know she was bad. Between Jessica Messica and my girlfriend Jessica, so like. I don't want to get into it. I, just, I know. I don't want you for that. No, for sure. My life. For sure. But what I'm saying, though, is that, too, Josh, I'm maybe... Not Jessica, I'm dating her. That's just how it is. Maybe you could get Jessica Messica and your Jessica to, like, talk. And, like, maybe she That's could... That's probably not going to happen. And I don't want to, like, force that. Or, like, you sure? I know. Jessica feeling comfortable or, like... Gets her out of her comfort zone, then it's just not going to happen. 
Yeah, I don't want I don't want Jessica, you're now to be uncomfortable about this. I don't want her at all. What's up, Bimbo? Mandy Dip. <laughs> it tastes just like it did when I had the tobacco in it. It sucks out while I have to take the tobacco out of it, but it dips spits just like the real thing, dude. Okay, so listen, one time the, the one time that I tuned in, like when so when so when Naked and Laughing first came and hung out with you, the one time I tuned in, she was cleaning your house. And I loved that, Josh. I didn't, and that's the thing of it, is I'm not a sexist. Man. I know you didn't ask her to, but I love that she has this matronly shit and she was cleaning your house. It made me happy. Jessica's OCD about cleaning. Me too, house. me too. <laughs> so much. And it's just like I would never ask a woman to clean. I know, but I was afraid that if I ever went and visited you, so I'd go clean your house. Clean. I was afraid you'd get mad at me because I would. Men are expected to fight in wars and to be able to fix. I know. Build houses, so I'm not going to expect a a woman to cook or clean for me. I know, but she was totally cleaning your house, dude. I I wasn't going to complain. I'm like, okay, you know what? If it makes you happy, then do it. Awesome. It's not hurting anything, so. I'm like that. Now already said she was talking, taking Cobes Clock Tower money. Shut up, Pat. No, she's not, dude. If Come I on, Pat. Match and you wouldn't even know shit about it. You'd shit bricks if you saw it because you'd be like, God damn, you built it. All right. So all y'all that are in side chat right now, you guys can post right now. I will watch side chat. Like, what do y'all think? You guys have some weird intentions that you think that Naked and Laughing is trying to take Josh's money. Or trying to find a new home to live in, or trying to get out of her situation. Trying to do anything. She's not taking anything. She's just trying to find herself. She's been abused her entire life mentally and at times physically. And she's just trying to find herself and do her thing like we all are. And that's hard when you face mental challenges. Josh, did she pee in a cardboard box? What are they saying? She did do that when she was really drunk and hanging out in her attic and she didn't want to like go downstairs and use the toilet. But I'm like, you know what? She ain't hurt nobody. She's doing her thing. Okay. Like, leave her alone. <laughs> Some of the shit she doesn't fucking remember doing all drinking, mind you. So Yeah, I do that. I love time. to drink, so I'm not gonna give her shit for it. Have you done some dumb shit while you're drunk? Yeah, me Everyone too. Everyone has. Everyone's done dumb 100%, shit. hundred percent, dude. Think of it. Yeah, a hundred percent. I've for sure done some terrible fucking things while I was drinking. I don't think, so Josh, I think like, again, like these guys, maybe they're just like overly protective of you, maybe. You know, like they're looking out for you, and they're. Yeah, I appreciate that people are overly protective of me. To be honest, it shows that I got people in my life who give a shit. Yeah, I'm like my YouTube trolls who have nobody, and their life sucks. And then on top of that, the person they hate has all the things they wish they had. Yep. And that's why they attack me for it. Yep. Mm Mm-hmm. Have you noticed since she's been in like your life that you've gotten more people calling you and contacting you and harassing you? Yes, or- I have to a point. The more famous you get, the more haters you get. That's just the price of the game. And the people who hate on you, they don't take the time to think, how would it feel if I was being attacked by this person? And if I don't have the balls to fucking dedicate myself to getting to where the person I hate is at, then why the fuck am I talking shit? Yeah. I don't think it's, like, bad, though. That's what I'm saying. Is like, I don't think, like, um, there's some people that are probably, like, super fucking, they, they just want to see, like, mayhem in your fucking life, in your world. Uh-huh. But I don't. I, I think some people, Josh, have a while. Their life that they can't control. So they think the only way to handle it is to spread it to someone else, and all it does is make it worse. That makes them hypocrites. Yeah, but, but I fucking hate when my fans bully them. But then when I get bullied by them, they justify it by saying I'm a piece of shit, and I'm like, fuck that, dude. 
but I think people, Josh, too, have watched you for so long. So like you can't like you can't damn them for being invested in watching you and having it's like, a two way like, street. So I get what you're saying on that. Yes. You know, like they, they're going to feel some kind of fucking way, dude. Of course they are. What you know? Uh -huh. It's like, uh, do you ever watch like, I mean, you're, you love Ozzy. You love, you know, things that you watch online. Do you not feel like almost a part of what's happening on the internet, even or on? As much as I love Ozzy Osbourne, I don't feel like I'm a part of his life. I feel like I'm existing with his life. If that makes any sense, because he's got millions of fans. I'm just another face in the crowd. Gia I, I don't care if he notices me, his health is more important. Listen, you want to know what I do? I dream about Tom York because I love Radiohead and I wish that I can meet him. And I think about what he thinks about and I try to eat the food he eats. So I'm a crazy person. Gia says that, does Cobra want to have a child with Jessica? <gasps> you paused. You paused. I paused? Yeah. What the fuck? I didn't. Did you hear what I said? Yes, I did. Joshua Face Wonders. Do you want to have babies? No, I don't want to have babies. Are you starting right now? <laughs> I don't want to start a family until I build my clock tower dream house. Okay, what if you have a clock tower tomorrow? You'd have a fucking goddamn baby. I'm getting a call from Jessica. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You want to have babies? Get the fuck out of here. This is insane. It's fucking nuts. Jessica Scott, I'm so sorry. I would have Jessica Scott come up on here because she's not bad, dude. You guys that are demonizing her, maybe only the panel. I think it would be fine if she came up here, dude. I totally think it's fine. But I have to. It's my guy. It's my guy, Jessica Muska. It's my guy. I can't betray my guy. You don't understand that. Listen, maybe you're a fucking internet troll that's bullying, <laughs> making a laugh. I don't even know I'm gonna watch her. I have no idea what she does. I have no clue. No clue. I think you're kind of reasonable. I don't know. Whatever. I hate seeing animal. Oh, hold on. Somebody just said that. Animal abuser. You guys, if you fuck, and fuck the trolls, I'm not answering any more questions about Jessica. The trolls can literally eat. And suck you the biggest your ass single farts like this. Pretty much, they can suck my fucking ass crack. <laughs> I thought I fucking told these trolls to suck my fucking ass crack. Suck my fucking ass crack. <laughs> I fucking told them. Suck my ass crack, bitch. <laughs> All right, so let me ask you this, and maybe it'll be the last thing that incorporates Jessica. So, do you feel? Oh God, I can't read these comments, Josh. Do you think that, like, uh, you're not settling, right? Like, you know what I mean? Like, you're not No, settling. I'm not settling. I haven't had a girlfriend in six years. It's not about settling. It's just about dating and seeing where it goes. You know, if anyone else in my position, they would understand. It's like, you have no idea what it's like to crave cuddling a female that's of age Alive, cisgender, non-related, etc. Fuck sickos. And then you don't get it for six fucking years. Knowing that the YouTube trolls will just scare off every chick that you try to date. So you hope for the next one that doesn't get scared off. And I'm not saying she will get scared off. I'm not saying anything. But that's just my perspective. People are sitting there fucking getting me kicked out of my flats and fucking scaring off chicks that I'm trying to hang with. And it's stupid because they don't have their own flat and they can't get girlfriends. They spend all day hating Cobra and it just makes them miserable prats, to be honest. Uh, Jessica Musco, where the fuck did you send this email? I don't know this fucking broad sent this email. Um, oh my god. So, do you think at any point, Josh, though, that like you, uh, you and Jessica hung out like a long time together? Though you were, you were with each other a long time. 
you're super defensive though about um her behavior by saying I've been that, with her, like since February 9th and <laughs> I'm prepared to defend her as much as I can. Okay. And I guarantee you Jessica doesn't abuse her cats. The people are just going to take what she says or what she does when she's drunk out of context. Okay. So what are you assuming? Have you seen anything they're talking about? Like, what are they talking about? No, I haven't fucking seen what the fuck they're talking about. I, know. I don't watch anything either. I, I do this. I, I do don't. This. Exactly my point. I'm like, I don't want to watch it. I don't care. I don't care. I don't hear that Jessica's mouth is probably bullshit. So that's just the way I look at it. You know what I'm saying? All right. I get scared. So here's the thing, Josh, is that you know that like your community knows like the trigger point for me is to like talk to me about cats. So they're going to try to like tell me that she's saying like or doing horrible things to cats because I'll fucking murder people for cats. Like I'll fucking murder people. So Jessica fucking loves her cats. Only in Saudi or her. Okay. So there's nothing that like she's ever done on the internet. No, not that I'm aware of. Like all that these you watched or saw. And then there's all these being a fucking cunts. Yeah. Then, then Sonny will come in and like you know share her up. Kind yeah. Of. Well, there's like one or two people I trust on the internet. Maybe one's Kristen. Um, honestly, trust me, she's got six cats. She loves cats. Okay, so I think you're good. Okay. Okay. And I'm still sitting there saying. And that's the thing of it. My YouTube troll said that the ring I got her was an engagement ring and that she said it. And as soon as I went to her community page, it didn't say anything about engagement. Well, I well, I can, uh, I know there's, there's a train going by. I'm sorry. It's my, my YouTube trolls and that's that. Well, I will say in, in uh, the defense of uh, those that said that, she did post that though on the internet. Like she, she did post it, but she didn't say it wasn't an engagement ring. She just said, My man got, you know what I'm saying? Okay. She just said her, her boyfriend got her a ring, kind of thing. So that's what she said. She's like, Hey, yeah, you know, pretty much. You know, my boyfriend gave me a ring. a ring. She never said that. Okay. The one asshole who said it wasn't an engagement ring was just trying to fucking troll her. Yeah, you know, it that, maybe that's fire opal. Fire maybe, opal is fucking gorgeous for sure. Like maybe you, like you can look at Charles's comment and he said, "Congratulations on your engagement," and it got pinned though. Yeah, that like, comment got deleted because I'm like, it's a girlfriend ring. I know, but I mean, why she? Why is she? I have no it? idea that Jessica has never had a boyfriend that buys her jewelry. That's actually kind of sad. So, all right. So that's in her defense, she, she was excited about it and that's why she pinned it. Right. That's why she showed it off. She never said there was an engagement ring. Okay. She so, just said it was a ring that her boyfriend bought her. She didn't say it was engagement. Yeah. She just pinned it though. Right. She was just showing it off. Cause that's what chicks do when you got that bling. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I get it. No, I totally get it. Some they keep saying that she like punched her cat, dude. Why do they keep saying that? I don't know why the fuck they're saying it. I'm pretty sure she didn't. You know, I don't know. I don't know the whole story, so I don't want to make assumptions. Yeah. Then create more drama. That's what they do. Yeah, no, for sure. They want people to fucking have assumptions so it creates more drama and it's fucking retarded. Like, so, all right, like, hypothetically, though, like, if you ever saw her being abusive to a cat, would it, like, be a game changer a little bit? Yes, it would be, to okay. be honest. If I saw her abusing animals, I'd be like, I'm done. Yeah. It'd be but I don't, honestly, I don't think she was doing that. I think the people are just taking what she did when she was drunk and twisting it to try to, like, create drama kind of thing. Okay. People are just fucking, like, beefing up some dumb shit. Yes, they are. Okay. The Etsy ring is Chef's Kiss. That's it's, exactly it's what ring, I Five stars on that when I. <laughs> did she pick it out or did you pick it out? I picked it out, to be honest, because she loves opals and I love fire opals. 
And when I showed her a link to the ring, she immediately fell in love with it. She was like, I must have it. And then me being the man doing manly boyfriend <laughs> responsibilities, I'm like, I'll make it happen. <laughs> you're, like, you're gonna say you're gonna make it happen, then do it. Did she know you were getting it though? Yes, yeah, she did. Okay. I was telling her about it. She, you know, teasing her with it a little bit. And then when she got it, now she's wearing it. So I get her a bond because the one she had broke, and I get her a ring. It's not what, 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 what broke? Something it's, broke. It's a girlfriend ring. You just said something broke. What broke? She had a ring that broke? No, she had a fucking bong that she was smoking out of that broke, and I felt bad, so I got her a fucking new bong. And it's one that doesn't break when you drop it, and it's one of her favorite colors. So I'm like, that works. And What's her favorite color? Green? green? What's that? What's her favorite color? Green? She likes green and purple and black. But I don't want to answer any more questions about her. You don't have to, dude. You don't have to. People are going to assume shit, Josh. The whole point is that you have to be fucking happy and you have to be with somebody that... And here's the thing, dude, is that you're going to have... You know that you have, like, a substantial amount of fucking trolls on the internet that are going to try to orchestrate or do some fucked up shit to make you think certain things. But that's exactly what they do to Jessica. They say and do things like twist everything that I say on YouTube, try to get me and Jessica to fight, and it's so stupid. Okay. The worst, dude. These trolls can all suck Cyrax's dick. They're trying to <laughs> you don't want that though. Like Grandmother. His dick's so like super gross, dude. We've seen it. It's all. Oh over. God, I don't even want to. <laughs> yeah, it's that way dick gross. He sticks inside his grandmother. <laughs> super <laughs> gross. <laughs> oh my God, I fucking dude, you were the best. The time that you're on a fucking panel with Cyrax, dude, you fucking crushed it. <laughs> if I know who Cyrax was, I wouldn't have fucking been on the panel with him in the first place. I know, I know. I kind of fucking blindsided you with that. All right, so maybe Josh, hold on. Let's fucking see the shit real quick, Josh. I don't know if I want to watch this, Josh. No. I recognize that stream. She was doing her thing thing for my recent <laughs> drink combo that I delivered to her. Her house looks funny. Like, like her house looks like fun channel. behind her. She got like fucking plants and shit. She's all fucking cuddled. I'm not sure for the house. Uh, anyway, she's not gonna be on too long. She's like you, dude. She streams like crazy, tomorrow, dude. Which means yeah, she do. She streams her life just doing shit. But Josh, he can stream oh, for like fucking like so sixteen hours. Three items. She just mentioned you. She said, "Josh, you're so sweet." I've been nothing but trying to be the sweetest I could be to her. Yes. And this is it, and by proper video. There's the drink combo that I'm saying. That's great. Glass. Because I've already got it all in here. Like coconut Red Bull, oh, tropical. Uh, Arizona but tea and like a uh, um, pineapple wine. Coconut Red Bull. Do you have a name for it? Oh, don't you dare. She names it in the drink combo. Okay. It's coconut Red Bull. Oh my god. Tropical chill sickle or zickle. Tropical um, chill. Arizona. Nice. Which actually has juice in it. And it's crazy that you fucking dated a YouTuber. So 
Texas Chainsaw. And some pineapple table. wine. Where did she stream it? So, and, like is it her attic? Streamed in? Things. Uh, I call She's streaming in her room. Uh, tropical is... storm, Jessica. <laughs> I mean, not that that's so you bought her pineapple wine. <laughs> if I'm in a good mood when I'm drunk, that's good. I want to buy her food and but like I get blackout drunk ingredients to like do a drink yeah. combo. Yeah. I can't afford to do it all the time, but like after she's left, you know, it's yeah, Josh got me. Uh, yeah, you're a good he's guy, Josh. So sweet. And he does not. He does this because he wants to do it. Okay. Oh, look at she's defending I you, don't dude. Ask him. He got me four, four of the coconut Red Bulls, the this bottle of wine, and two of the Arizona things, and two bags of. You um, sent her all that. Yes, did. Chips. Oh, oh, like my girlfriend's gonna get a fucking wicked sick drink combo idea. If she don't like it, she don't have to drink it and it hurt my feelers. But I sent her some fucking coconut red bull and all that. Cry, so let's not try to cry. <laughs> the fuck's not right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you smell it. Oh, they can't see your cute face. They can't see you looking at the camera. <laughs> yeah. Let me see. You see it, Courtney. She got oh, cats like you do. You two would get along for like two pieces. Good. Of that's awesome. Whatever you smell, Ollie. That's her Ollie. Sure you smell Josh anyway. One of the two. I know you. Cute, Josh. She just streams like you. She just fucking streams anything. One second. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Why am I? Oh, he needs to know. Bobbies. I was trying to sing that song to Josh, only you know, change the lyrics from Ollie to Josh. <clears throat> but I was sick. And I, when I lost it? my voice. Yeah, me pause it. I couldn't do it. Something bad is gonna happen in like a minute or so. Something bad gonna happen? Jessica is not a cat abuser. You can clearly see she loves her cat. Thank you head butts, Ollie. Thank you. People are fucking Thank disgusting you. assholes. I love you. Why? Yeah. She doesn't want to wash it or something? Oh, Ollie, please. Your fucking claws. Here. Let's get the blankie on the back of your claws. Here. I got you. I got you. You're fine. You're fine. Oh, no. Don't cry, baby. I was just trying to get your little claws on the blankie. Nobody's hurting you. What's your cat's name? Ollie? Nobody's hurting you, my baby. Yes. She has six cats, and her top two are Ollie and Sunny. Now put your butt down, please. My grandma had a horse named Sonny that lived to be very old. I find quite ironic. <laughs> and she has a cat named you know Mama Kitty. My Mama other Kitty? Kitty had a cat named Mama yeah, like Kitty. So, like, the coincidences oh, are just yeah. He just rubbed on me and then bit me. Ollie. He 
just wiped snot on my... He just rubbed me right here and bit me on the wrist. Ollie. What else do they do? They mark you. Why? They rub their faces on you. Hey. I don't bite you. Hey. You want to be picked and prod prodded on now? Like an alien? Oh, yes, you don't like that. You don't like. I don't like it. You don't like that. <laughs> you don't like that, do you? I'm just pushing your buttons. I'm just pushing your buttons. <laughs> you are a fucking dementia patient. Jeez, it's it's okay for you to bite me. I'm just not even biting you. I'm just playing with you. Everybody's hurting you, Ollie. You really fucking bit me, dude. Yeah. I'm just playing with you. I can't play. Huh? I can't play with you. I can't play with my baby. Jeez, you're such a brat. You know that. You don't like mama playing with you. How many cash does she have, Josh? A couple? Like a few? She's got six cats. So you know how that goes, because you love cats, too. I have five, yeah. yeah. Not, you have to There's nothing wrong with loving cats. Talk about, love sensitive. Talk about sensitive kitty. Oh, stop. Nobody's being mean to you. Stop. Nobody's hurting you. Boop. Nobody's being mean to you, Ollie. I'm just playing. You were really trying to come after me, though. That's the thing. I'm just playing with you. You're just an old man. It's an old kitty. You didn't even have no fun. Yeah. Oh, you got the silkiest furs. Silky, Everyone keeps silky. saying it's like 124.30. She does something. Please, your fucking claws. Here, let's get the blankie on the back of your... She's not doing anything. These are fucking you. assholes. You're fine. You're fine. Oh, no, don't cry, baby. I was just trying to get your little claws on the blankie. Yeah, they said one point for 30. No, nobody's hurting my baby. Did something else sure. happen? I guarantee you nothing happened. People are just trying to fucking like make it into a bigger deal than it is. Yeah, they said like uh 12430. So she does something. All right, here we are again at 124 uh 01. Okay. It's 12401. Y'all said that she punched this cat, dude. Well, y'all said that she punched a cat. I don't think she would punch a cat, to be honest. Sean, I went back, dude. Sean, I went back. I went back to 124. Everybody keeps posting 120. All right, 143. <laughs> okay, hold on. Y'all are fucking killing me here. I'm the worst YouTuber, so. 143. Oh, he needs there you go. All right. I don't like being taken advantage of. There you go, Jake. I shared with you. That doesn't mean you get to eat all of it. I'm glad people feel like I don't even deserve to eat my own food. All right, 145 now? Y'all are fucking killing me right now, dude. Y'all are full of shit. She never punched no cat. Um, right, 144.50. Eat shit. Let's go. Eat shit. Exactly. I trust you, Jessica Mesco. Let's do it. Or here. We're at the fucking point. Love Fuck it. Jessica Mesco. Where's the proof?
Yo, she's a fucking slow burn. Y'all watch this shit? Jessica Mesca. We just fucking stream and watch this shit, dude. Slow burn. And a fucking slow burn. I don't fucking doubt you, dude, but I've done to deserve this. I'm sorry, yo. I need to see whatever y'all are talking about. Because. <laughs> what happens? What happens here? What happens? I'm Scorpion, eat shit. It's been playing this whole time. She's just fucking sitting there, dude. That's what I had to do, considering my pizza was eaten. Exactly my point. My She's sitting like, there, dude. We are so far it. past, beyond, okay. dude. Any point that y'all are saying? All right, let's go back again. All right, Karen, my grandma, because she's the best. 145.09. We're going to go back right now. Maybe I'm a fucking idiot and I missed it. We're going to go to 145. 145.02. There you go. Boom. It's been playing, dude. It's been playing. It's been playing. I'm I'm here. I'm totally with you. I don't know what the fuck I'm looking at. Oh my god, it's fucking like tearing the ass out of me, y'all. Because you guys, I'm gonna fucking throw up. They all are saying that there's some fucking shit that's gonna happen right now. I've watched so much of this broad. She just fucking sits in her room, dude. Pet your fucking cat, maybe a little aggressively. Whatever, dude. I will fucking literally fucking lose my shit. That's the thing of it, Jessica. She sits in her room and chills and does her thing, and people. I'm fucking her missing, dude. One twenty-eight. I'm gonna go with Jessica Mesca because I'm listening to fucking Jessica Mesca. One twenty-eight. All right, let's fucking get to like we're gonna go to one twenty. Uh -huh. Fucking look, you know, Mama's just playing with you guys. Huh? He just rubbed on me and then bit me, Ollie. All right, one twenty-seven thirty-seven. I'm just playing. You were really trying to come out. Cats will literally bite and claw you when they had an opportunity. So I guarantee you, it's all bullshit. Just play with John you. Hinkley. So Thank you, dude. You're just an old kitty. I love you, John Hinkley. You may have no fun. You got the silkiest. That's how you got. Silky, silky. Come here. Come here, rat. Come here, little rat. Hold on. Uh, CEO and, and Granny, hold on. Pick a spot and lay down, Ollie. Come on. What am I fucking missing, dude? What am I missing? Why are you fighting? He's got a bite of my, shoulder, my sweater. Look at him. Look at him. What am I missing? He's Fucking what the fuck am I missing, dude? Rabbit. What am I missing? Ollie, I was just petting you. Dude, are you out for blood? Get the fuck off of me. I don't want you near me. I think you're like rabbit. Go. Well, I mean, I don't okay. want you near me. You have okay. lost your Scruff? fucking loving mind, right. dude. Scruff. You know what, Marl? No. Uh, you're fucking lucky I had a sweater on, dude. I, I'd fucking send you to SPCA right fucking now. Okay. No. Don't be being mean to you, Ollie. I'm just playing. You were really trying to come after me, though. That's the thing. Hey, after this, can we please stop talking about Jessica? Just play with you. You're just an old man. That's all I'm asking. Yeah. I'm not asking much. I appreciate that. A lot of people want to support her and they appreciate our relationship. That's all I'm asking. Yeah. Oh, you got the silkiest furs. And you can clearly see she doesn't it's abuse silky. her fucking cats. That she's very kind to them. She loves them. Like Jessica Messick, the worst. And pick a spot and lay down, Ollie. Come on. Mama's. Why are you. 
he's got a bite of my shoulder, my sweater. Look well, I mean, he's an elderly cat too, Josh. So like, they he's are they can be aggressive and fuck up and. And that's the thing of it. Humans Holy. are aggressive by oh, nature. She's petting so you. I highly doubt that Jessica was intentionally smack her cat. Are you out for blood? Look, you want to me. me. I don't want you near me. I think you oh, no! so, I don't want you near me. She wasn't abusing it. Yeah, she was just getting up by her mind, mind, dude. That's how you're going to be. She doesn't dress the cat, though, like that, though, dude. Uh, you're That's fucking it. lucky I had a sweater on, dude. I, I'd fucking send you to SPCA right fucking now. Yeah. Dogs no. are the same way when they fucking bite too hard. Oh, I can't even play with my like, cat. He you know, when dogs are doing it, you're using my hand. Holy shit. Go ahead. Say it again. What'd you say? Like when dogs start teething. I'll use my hand or give them a chew toy to chew on so that way, that, you know what I'm saying? And cat comes by too hard, too. She wasn't abusing the cat. She was picking it up by its scruff and going, okay, that's how you're going to be. Well, then you can get off of me. And she, she didn't throw it off aggressively. She okay. didn't like, punch it or like, oh, you should <laughs> the pussy blood. You know what I'm saying? Like, people are Stupid. He's an older cat, though, Josh, too. Yes, he's an older cat, but, like, that cat's been with Jessica for ages. Ollie's fine, trust me. Jessica feeds him bacon on occasion when she cooks it. That cat is spoiled. Trust me, I've seen him do it off camera. Those cats are fine. And I've sent them cat food when they needed it. Like, and I got no problems with that because I love animals. You know, people are going to be stupid about the whole situation. It's like, fuck off with it. So, okay. You don't think that, like, that's like a little bit aggressive, though, about it? Or no, it's not, it's not being aggressive because humans, not trying to be a species, is, are at the top of the chain for a reason. And, uh, you know, it's not, you know, there's a big difference between being, beating your animal because you enjoy it versus just picking them up by the scruff and be like, okay, if you're going to bite me, be a little typical cat asshole, here you go. All right. So, you know, so I, I wasn't being aggressive with it because you have cats, you know, they're assholes. And when they're going to claw and bite you, you're not going to beat the shit out of them, but you're going to pick them up and put them down. And be like, well, okay, that's how you feel. You're not going to bite me and, like, nip at me and tell me you're done, you know? Well, the difference is, though, with Josh is that the fact that I am invading in which they are an animal and how they feel and how they I'm feeling to... this right now. Jessica would never abuse her cats. She fucking loves animals. A wild a possum almost crawled into her goddamn kitchen, and she was trying to, like, pet it because this thing was fatter than the biggest cats I've seen her possess. Shit, you not. And that thing took off because, you what, know. What took like, off? It was a wild in, like, Virginia Beach. The fact that she was trying to befriend a wild possum tells me that she's not going to abuse her cats. That's all I'm saying. And all these assholes who want to sit there and be like, Oh, Jessica did this. Jessica did that. No, Joshy, I don't care. That's what don't you, care Joshy, what Joshy, don't get upset. I'm not getting upset. Uh, baby, I know you're not. We're not playing crap like this. Joshy. What's up? What's up? Hey, what is it? I know you're not. I don't you're care what it is. Let's not play it. If it's involving me and Jessica having a verbal argument, I don't want to play it on YouTube. Is she aggressive to you, though? I draw attention to it. Is she aggressive to you, though? What's that? Is she aggressive to you, though, like that? Yes, she's attractive to me. and she's Aggressive. Aggressive. To me. And she politely she, asked that we quit talking about her on screen on one of the recent calls because people are just being 
the absolute fucking worst. So here's the thing, though, Josh, is that I 1,000% appreciate fucking Jessica not wanting any of us to play these things, right? I get that. But live streams it for the fucking internet, dude. It's it's. I'm not playing anything that's fucking private that nobody needs to fucking see, dude. If she played this fucking internet, dude, like, it's something that she put out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I she, get that to a point. That's something we all got to learn. Like, what you Josh, is she aggressive to you that, though? I've heard two seconds of it, though. I've heard two seconds of it. Well, if you want to watch that on your private time, that's fine. But, like, I will yeah. for sure. I will for sure. I don't want any more drama being directed towards I don't you. want you to have fucking drama, Josh. But this is something that, like, is on the internet, though. How'd that happen? Why was that? Why is that online? Were because you streaming? Jessica recorded a stream. Oh, was she streaming? Was privated, then she deleted the stream, and the shit got. Okay, started. so she was streaming it, not you, yeah. right? No, I was not streaming it because you're respectful and you wouldn't stream that shit to the internet. But did she? She kept her it's live up. Very respectful to the internet. It's the thing of uh, Jessica was streaming on her channel. And I wanted to. But you were drunk and passed out, though, too, right? Well, I wasn't drunk and passed out. Okay. Let me explain, okay. please. Go ahead. Okay. Jessica doesn't have that many subscribers. I don't want to make it about, oh, the King Cobra's here, you know? So I try to, like, stream with her on her channel. And the trolls are fucking with her super hard. And we were both a little bit tipsy. Okay. And that led to an argument. And I'm like, Jessica, I've been doing this for a long time. This thing on YouTube, you have to just learn to say fuck yep. trolls. Cause they're you're not experiencing this, them. for sure. You're experienced. You know what the fuck you're talking about, dude, for sure. It's not an insult on her. It's just me giving her friendly advice. Mm -hmm. It's not saying I know this or that. You know, it's not about superiority. It's just about giving her solid advice like if you want to be a youtuber like king cobra and you want to be like oh, i'm gonna make all these videos and do all this content you have to learn to just filter that shit out okay yeah i agree with that yeah i get it dude i know what the internet is like yeah, I wasn't <laughs> trying to like insult her intelligence or anything like if she is watching i don't want anything bad to happen to you i care about you if I didn't care, you wouldn't be getting the fast food in the ring and the fucking money for your <clears throat> green smoke. But we're not going to get into that. And as far as whatever happened between me and Jessica over her last day, that's none of y'all's business. I don't care if she's used to do cam shit. People need to get help. These people need serious fucking help. Josh, is she abusive to you though? About like, uh, like the way? No, you... she's not. Okay, she's not abusive. She doesn't. No, she's not. She's not abusive. To be honest, the trolls fucking love to start shit, and that makes anyone angry. Can any anyone who's had to deal with? internet trolls Josh, i uh, listen dude i've had crazy people call every employee that i work with and shit on me i get that i understand jessica is not abusive I should answer that go ahead and answer it okay she's been she's tried like she's been in so many abusive relationships she's not used to a sweet guy like I, me. Oh, josh i get she's that dude not talking about it I totally get that, dude. Is that I understand that, but it's not an excuse, though, if she's being fresh to you. She's not being fresh. I shouldn't answer that. I'll mute you. Go ahead. No, it's good. You should God. Answer. You should answer it, dude. I don't want any fucking drama. That's all. I'll mute it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, my 
Yeah, the song should be the next part. But, uh, I gotta hate you guys for this. Part one was filmed. Stop playing Jessica shit. Just stop. Stop talking about it on your fucking channel. Please, just stop. Okay. It's giving me anxiety. And I don't want to fucking deal with the fucking repercussions. Okay. Stop. Fucking assholes. Courtney, I'm, sh I'm stopping it right now. It's gone. Stop it right now. No, I'm serious. It's giving fucking Jessica anxiety. People are fucking giving her. They're, they're trolling her nonstop because of this crap. Just stop. I don't want him trolling her. I don't want him talking with her. I don't want him talking with her, dude. I don't. I don't want people fucking with Jessica just because she chooses to look past my faults and fuck me. The trolls can't find that, so they gotta have a fucking cunt up their ass. Josh, don't say that though. You just said right there that they're she she can That's look the fucking truth. She can people look down her fault. Jessica, they wouldn't fuck with us in the first place. You just said though that she looks beyond your faults. And there's nothing yeah. wrong with that. I'm going bald. I got a beard oh gut. Those are assholes. Those are my faults. She looks past my faults, and I appreciate that. That's not okay, though. That looks for own. It's something we connect on. It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing, Courtney. I don't know why you're getting upset about it. Because, Josh, I want good for you, dude. I want you to be yeah, happy. I appreciate that you want good for me, Courtney. I really do. Six 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 viewers were goodbye. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you later.